an average American TV show is 22 minutes long, which allows for eight minutes of commercials per half an hour or 16 minutes of commercials per hour. Hey, what's up? My name is Donovan Green from Cheer Workouts. And what I'm doing right here is showing you that when you're watching your TV show, in between the show, when you have a commercial break, what are you doing? You're still sitting down. And when you're sitting down, you're sitting and either getting fit or sitting and getting fat. It's up to you to make the choice. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you some simple moves you can do while you're sitting down on the couch, okay? The first thing you do while the commercial is on, you take your arms out. We're going to go across the body just like this. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep on going. As you're doing this, you're focusing on squeezing your abdominals, keeping your chest lifted, and really pull the shoulders back. And keep on going. We're almost there. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. Next move that I want you to do, I want you to practice stretching your shoulders. Going to come across the body. You're going to stretch this out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Come across to the opposite side. Lift that chest up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, here's a part that you might not think about. I want you to stand up. We're going to get up and sit 10 times. You ready? We're going to stand up. That's one. You could use this to help your body up. Two. If you have a, a table in front of you, use it. Three. Get back down again, up, four, and again, five. When you get to the top, squeeze your butt muscles too, six, and tighten those abs up, seven. Exhale as you stand. We have three more, eight, nice, nine, one more, and ten. Excellent. So now at this point, you can either keep on going with me or you can take that break Go back to watching the show. The commercial comes on. You get at it again. But I'm going to keep on going. So you're going to come to the edge of that chair or the edge of your couch, wherever you're seated, and you're going to simply rock left and right. You can put your arms like this or put your arms like this. I prefer this way because they get a deeper bend. And don't focus too much on the speed. Focus a lot on the bend, working on the torso. So you want to feel the movement happening through your oblique muscles which is all right here. As you're doing this, you might not recognize this, but the stronger your oblique muscles are, the more in line and in tune the rest of your body is. The oblique muscles help you to stay upright. As, as the torso gets stronger, you start to reduce the pain in your lower back, your hip muscles, and everything else. We have 10, 9, 8, stomach tight, 7, 6, Five, four, I use my couch as a marker. Three, two, and one. You're doing great. You're doing awesome. So now we're going to get up again because the idea is to get you to move. So I'm going to stand again. I'm going to just lift the leg up. I'm going to march up. Now here's something that I like to do too when I'm home watching TV. You might not have a treadmill. You might not have an elliptical machine. But guess what? You have your own body. And you can stay here and watch your golf. You can stay here and watch your Netflix, whatever you can. And if you want to pick the tempo up, you can go faster on your own time, keeping your core engaged. And we're going to keep at this. We're going to move. We're going to breathe. We're going to inhale. We're going to exhale and just keep on grinding. Woo! We are getting fit while we're watching TV right on the couch. Let's get after it. Let's keep on going. The you version, 10 years from now, is going to feel so good that you decided to do this. You have 10, you have 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. It's almost done. You're going to sit down. And all I want you to do now, we're going to throw some punches. We're going to punch right here. Punch and punch. As you're punching, you want to brace your midsection. Squeeze your abs and try to avoid the torso from moving loosely. 
You want to feel everything tight. Come on, keep on pushing. We're working the total body right in the living room. Let's go. I don't want to hear no excuses, none whatsoever. Come on. Work with me, work with me, work with me. You have 15 hours to go. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's work. I want you to punch a little bit faster. If you have to pretend that my face is right in front of you and you want to punch me in the neck, that's okay. But punch, you got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! That's what I like to see. The body is made to move. It's not designed to sit all day. You have to get up and move or sit and die. It's up to you. I know it's aggressive what I just said, but I want the message to hit you really hard so you can get it in your head, okay? So we're gonna go back to standing again. We're gonna use the couch as our support system this time. Instead of the table, we're gonna press ourselves up nice and quick. Ready? And stand. One, back down, and stand. Up, that's two. And stand, up, that's three. Up. Four, how fast can you get up? Up, five, you have to accelerate up, six, and then decelerate on the down, up, seven, we have three more, up, Woo. eight, two more, up, nine, one more, up, and ten, that's what I'm talking about. That felt so good that we're going to go again. We're going to go again because you're, you're doing awesome. Here we go. Love me now. Hate me later, or hate me now, and love me later. Either way, we're together. Let's go up, squeeze down, up, up. You have to get up quickly, up. Think about it being an emergency, up, mm -hmm. up. You're working upper body and lower body, up, because you're using your arms to push yourself up, up, yep. Up, mm -hmm. I have no idea how many reps that is. Up, and I don't care, because you're gonna give me five more. Up, we're here to work. Up, <laughs> up, one more, and up. That's right, I love that. I'm sweating already, the workout is pretty much done. All we're gonna do now is a quick stretch, okay? No excuses, legs out. You can bring your hands down or you can bring your, your arms forward if you have a coffee table in front of you. Uh, whatever's in front of you, you can reach forward and stretch out that way. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. In. Out. And keep on repeating that same thing. Some people like to breathe through the nose for in and out. Some people like to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. It's whatever that works for you, okay? I'm not going to tell you what works for you. And relax. Come out of it slow. Nice. Arms right here. Reach up. Pull. Gently pull. And give me that side bend. Oh, yeah, that felt so good. Let's stretch out. And sometimes when you're sitting down and you don't want to do a full workout and you're watching that TV, remember, stretch as well. Because when you're sitting down, you're locking your body in place where it shouldn't be. And relax, come to the opposite side, same thing, get that good stretch. And don't forget, give me the side bend. You're doing awesome. You're doing amazing. Woo! We have five, four, three, two, and one. Scoot to the edge, arm here, bend the, bend the elbows, and just come across the body. Remember, I don't want you to slouch your shoulders up. Drop the shoulders and it's just come across the diagonally across the body. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Come out of it slow. Go to the opposite side. The same exact thing. Come across. Oh, yeah. You want to feel the stretch running through the shoulder girdle, okay? That's all in this area right here, right where the joints meet together. Articulated joints, so articulation of the joints is a word used that says this is where your joints meet. We have 10, 9, 
eight seven six five four three two and one the last stretch for the day interlock your fingers push out and go as far as you can to where your arms are completely extended if you cannot extend your fingers all the way out that's okay you can loosen up the amount of connection you have by doing like this and loosen up a bit so you can get a little bit more range of motion okay if that's still too much for you, just focus on just coming right here. I don't want you to force it. This is a good stretch for the fingers as well. Nice. And we're going to reach above the top. Same thing, going up to the top. We're going to reach up, get that good stretch, long gate for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and you're going to Hold it and then release and then put the fingers just like this together now and reach up to that top. Oh, that feels so good for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's what I'm talking about. You worked up a good sweat. Remember, the idea of chair workouts is to show you that when you're sitting down throughout the day, you are literally killing yourself. When you're watching TV, you're on the computer desk, you're driving, you're watching a movie, you're reading a book, whatever it is that you're doing, you're sitting down. And every time you sit down, you are limiting your pathways of your life force. So your body is not doing what it needs to do. You're not walking, you're not moving, you're not, you're not doing anything throughout the day that you need to do. So right now you just learn how to use your couch. That means no excuses whatsoever. If you give me any excuses, I'm going to send my goons to your house. They're going to come and knock your door, and they're going to strap you on a treadmill and have you run for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> How is that? All right, this is Donovan Green from Cheer Workouts. All jokes aside, you can sit and get fat, or you can sit and get fit. It's all up to you. You have the choice. I'll see you later. Let me get back to watching my show.